So gas prices have never been higher. Instead of increasing domestic oil production, our leaders have been busy begging other countries, in some cases pretty loathsome countries, for help. Recently, Joe Biden personally reached out to leaders of Saudi Arabia to beg them for oil, but they didn't return his call. Oh, has America's place in the world shifted? Have we been reduced by the last 13 months? Yeah. Maybe you're getting the impression that our leaders don't really want to solve this gas crisis in the first place. Well, we have confirmation for you tonight that that is absolutely true. Here's the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm of Michigan, performing in a music video filmed a couple of years ago. In the performance, she sings, hopefully, that gas will disappear in this country entirely. Watch this. Gasoline, gasoline, you're driving me insane. Gasoline, gasoline, the world's a flame. Gotta go quick, electric, change the way we move around. So decadent, so stupid. Gasoline is a miracle. It's been a blessing for this country and for the world. It's one of the most highly concentrated forms of energy ever created. If you think it's not a big deal, you're an idiot and malicious. But keep in mind, these are the people who are blaming Vladimir Putin for the price of gas. Stephanie Nash understands what this is really about. She's a fourth generation dairy farmer at the Nash Family Creamery. She joins us tonight. Stephanie, thanks so much for coming on. So you're actually producing something in this country that people need, unlike the people you just saw in the video. How do you feel about the rise in, in energy prices? Yeah, I think it's a pivotal point in our country. You know, coming from California, I saw how Pelosi really attacked the agriculture industry and now their response to gas and diesel high inflation is, you know, we're not going to let up on regulations. We're not going to back off of our clean energy investment. Americans, it's an investment to them. It's not about making the earth a better place or our economy. They right. could care less exactly. about doing that. All they want is an investment, money back in their pockets in Washington, D.C. And I think it's really an idea and a subject that we don't talk about in the largest industry, and that is agriculture. If they cared about the environment, California would be clean, not dirty. It's dirtier than it's ever been, thanks to them. Is this, I mean, it, will this will imperil the ability of people to farm, will it not? Oh, yeah. We're already seeing an increase in farm inputs. And talking about Russia, they are a huge impact in fertilizer. U Ukraine yeah. is a huge impact in wheat. And so the American farmers and ranchers in this country are really wanting this administration to own up to their mistakes. They are not taking care of the American people, our food supply, our food security. All they could care about is their investments again and running the country they want to run and not for our American economy. But I mean, if the farms all go under, we can still get food from Uber Eats, right? Come <laughs> back and, and let us know. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you for that actual fact check. Good to see you. Thanks. Thank you.